dear friend this is my tutorial uh, 2 minus 3 in the Gaussian so this is the title of Gaussian 16 basis set for f block element I think many people are requested uh, and where to get how to get the basis set for f block element as uh, is actinide and lanthanides so I, I, here I will tell you how to get that basis set and also how to make input file for Gaussian calculation in Windows environment and Linux environment so this is the periodic table everyone knows so this is the two element I took examples to show you how to how and uh, where to get that uh, basis set for this two element so you can also get all the elements so I will show you the F block element this European and American so you can uh, watch the video fully you, you can you, you so this is the one of the paper published in JCTC in this paper they used f block element to study some properties so I will show you uh, what are the best that they used in the paper so if you go to the competition section of this paper so you can see that uh, the, the geometry structure of actinide chlorides and uh, chlorides were optimized Gaussian version at PBE level so they see scalar elasticity effect were taken into account by using so ECP 60 MW effective core potentials so okay ECP for actinides so the ECP 60 MW B underscore segmented basis set for actinide elements so the this is basically for the effective core electrons basis set this is for the valence electron basis set so they will use two kind of basis set for the f block element okay so so under under ccp vt is the best set for chloride element were used okay so this is the important point to this paper you can uh, see this paper also and this is another paper published ACS Omega this is actually the complexation and separation of trivalent actinides and the lanthanides from uh, from the that nuclear waste that study so in this paper also they used a similar kind of uh, basis set for the F-block element so you can also see here the European American metal ions the relativity effect were taken into a consideration with the cohesive relativity effective core potential or ECP so that means ECP 60 MW only that means that is the uh, basis for core electron if you had the seg uh, SEG the segmented basis set this for the valence electron so and this is for uh, under the ECP 28 MWB segmented for valence basis set were used to de describe the americium and europium atom so europium is actually a lanthanide so it will uh, have the small core compared to um, actinide elements that's why here, here you see 60 okay so and the, this is the things so I will tell you how to and where to get how to make input files for uh, Gaussian calculation so already I told you this is the I think previous video I also showed this uh, page uh, to get the basis set for f block element similarly we will also get f block element so here you see different kind of uh, software so we need to select our Gaussian okay then you can uh, select European we will select first one if you click this you will get a small page so here you can see different kind of things so so in European if you see that my this slide they mentioned the ECP 28 MWB they will use just to click this one so you will get the basis set so here the, you, you have to copy from here to up to here this is enough this is the corresponding reference paper you can cite if you use this basis set okay if you this is the uh, actually ECP okay I already told you ECP so then you can also see segmented basis set in that uh, presentation so if you click this one you will get the segmented basis set okay so you can copy from u0 from so up to the end you can copy paste it to your 
input uh, input file Gaussian input file so likewise you can uh, copy and paste so you can close this then I will show you the American so this is the American basis set pseudo potential just you can click ECP 60 MW I already told you now so just click this so you will get American effective core potentials okay you can copy this also for your if you use this American matter you can use this is for effective core potential so then you can see the segmented basis set so just to click this one you will get the segmented means the valence electron basis set so you can use this for valence electron basis set so this is a corresponding reference if you use this basis set you can cite these references so that's all so this is the basis set location where you have to you can get your uh, basis set so if you want to take any other atom in cerium or thorium also you can okay that's all uh, that's all now i will show you how to make input file using this basis sets okay this part so i will show you first europium so this is the actually btbp lian name i think short form i will show you the structure of uh, that one so for that we can open gauss view just drag it you can uh, see so this is the, the btbp ligand for they use this ligand to extract the actinides lanthanides uh, that europium americium trivalent ion from the nuclear waste so okay so bond not shown so just i make made small bonds so if you click you can see the atom um, here it will show some maybe mm, if you click it will show the atom this is the 47 number european atom you can see down you can see down down the corner okay so this is the the structure uh, we have used to create input file so I already saved this file into there so this is the input file for uh, windows calculation actually if you use this kind of uh, basis set you basically it won't run in the normal computer you always use your supercomputer or uh, clusters on the servers big computers then only it will work so I will show you the Linux based import input file. So actually this is the title I already told you the name of the system. Then you memory 20 GB we have to give then you enpro shared 40. So based on your computer you have to change this. This is the theory B3 AP we used. This is the generally we have to give this root section. So this is the optimization and the frequency. This is the then space you will give. Then you can give name of the system. So here is the the European is the three plus. So because that's why we are giving the charge is three. So the multiplicity we have mentioned the one so we can open this into the gauss view we will see the multiplicity what's coming so here the 254 electron so we have mentioned that plus 3 then it will uh, 254 means this is a paired uh, even number of electron that means we are getting singlet multiplicity okay so that's why i have mentioned here singlet multiplicity so okay then this all the things the x y z coordinate of the that uh, complex so then you have to give one space down then you can give the lighter atom so carbon nitrogen hydrogen and uh, sulfur 
and these are the things are light atom so we can use for this one 631 g star basis set so just i have given a 631 basis set and down if it four star that means end of the in in uh, this basis set so so then uh, we have to give uh, europium uh, valence electron basis set i already told you that uh, where to get that uh, basis set there you can uh, copy you can uh, paste it without space you have to paste it from europe is zero to uh, up to the star all the uh, if you see that uh, website you can uh, up to star so that's all then you have to give one space for uh, effective core potential so this is the effective core potential of the european atom here you use ecp 28 mwb then this is uh, effective core potential of the atom then you can give some spaces now it will run the say now 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 you can save the system you can submit your uh, system to the cluster or server supercomputer the calculation will go smoothly so if you want to use separate basis set for uh, like uh, europium you can also make i will tell you how to make the things okay so already i told you the uh, earlier video uh, we have to get some basis set from basis set exchange dot arc there you can uh, get basis set for so this is the all elect all atom basis set just i named like this so this is the same only so if we go here so i told you that there are carbon nitrogen hydrogen is there okay for that so you you have to go to basis set exchange so you can select carbon nitrogen hydrogen then which basis set is 631 g star basis set here you can change into gaussian so get basis set if you want you can download or else you can copy directly so just copy this control c so i already pasted you have to give one space always after ending of your cartesian coordinates so this is the best i copy so i will i will paste one second for you so the first one is h and the carbon is there and nitrogen atom so it's there. that's why three and lighter atom base is set then without space you have to give europium that is f block element base set valence electron base set then you can give the uh, europium for a uh, effective core potentials okay that's all then you can save save this file and always give some do some enter and the down of the end of the input file then you can save then only your calculation will go always you will get some error so you understand now i think now you can understand how to make in car input files for a gaussian calculation for a block element the european atom so likewise you can also make american atom okay so this also is similarly so you can get that same american atom this also 3 plus so this also i already told you 20 gb and uh, n pressure 40 these are the theory and uh, we have to do optimization frequency calculation these are the cartesian coordinate so you see the american atom is there so these are the basis set c and h so i simply use 631 g star the gaussian software itself it will uh, create and read the basis set for the calculation so no need to provide separately like this if you want you can also provide earlier i told you now how to get uh, you how to get from the uh, basis exchange the basis set you can uh, copy paste that's uh, okay here you can see the uh, american basis set this is the valence electron base set for american so this is a selected one up to here you need to put a star always end of the base set for the ecp no need to give star and uh, everything so this is american zero ecp 60 mwb okay so this is the 
the effective core potential of the system so make like this if you are using uh, your block elements so do you work computational calculation so if you are using other element also you can use uh, like this format if you want to use, use this format or if you are use simply you can use like uh, the simple format so maybe some of the basic set may not available that time you have to do the uh, this kind of format that means you have to get a best set from separate website or somewhere you can uh, copy and paste here do your gaussian calculations okay that's all so you can make yourself your input files and do your calculation so thank you for watching my videos please like subscribe and comment and share and also please click the bell icon while for the video updates thank you thank you for watching thank you for your time thank you happy computing enjoy